Do you wanna know how to create a following of raving fans with your personal brand? If so, stick around, trust me, you're gonna to wanna to see what's coming next. Yo, what is up, Zachary Babcock here, former drug addict, uh, spent over five years of my life in prison, turned underdog entrepreneur and the Prove I'm Wrong prodigy, top 200 iTunes podcast host. What is up, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here and you want the best tips on how to turbocharge your lead generation and customer acquisition, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything. With that, with that out the way, well, I'm getting ready to show you how to build a following of raving fans um, but this this is a little uh, controversial and it's it takes some guts to do it so if you're up for that if you're that kind of person hit it in the comment section below say I have guts uh, if you don't just don't even comment then uh, but I'm getting to share with you kind of a controversial way to uh, build a, a raving fans with your personal brand so let's head to the slide deck so this is how you cause a shit storm and this is a great way um matter of fact just let me show you what it's about so people need to know that you could be dangerous and you are not a pushover you need to be comfortable with as carl Jung would call it your shadow your dark side you need to be potentially dangerous it's how people can trust you they can't trust you if you are a pushover or approval seeker especially to them so the stronger you defend your values that they also share, the stronger they'll defend you when someone challenges you. Um, people want controversy. This is what they put their attention to, period. Soap operas, the workplace. You can either give people what they want or not because someone definitely will. So here's how you cause and create a shitstorm. It's an organic posting spectrum, carefully versus carelessly. All right, so it's a spectrum of context where the far left is irrefutable context you've laid out that has the least amount of confusion or context twisting and then the more you move to the right the less precise your message will be from your intended context but the more the discussion opens up because people make up their own context versus have uh, having carefully laid out a bulletproof one for them so you can crank it up and cause a shitstorm. A few of your followers are going to hate it and they're going to spread it to others. They're going to start sharing it, talking shit, and it will go viral and pull people into the fight. It's like a war and your followers, followers will go to battle with the intruders. So this is important for fostering extreme trust and bonding with your audience. It's all about the investment and trust. Um, here is an example. Uh, this is a longer one. Um, and this was... Um, this was more so of the uh, laying out the context where it's irrefutable, like you couldn't argue with what I was saying, uh, and it caused a shitstorm. And a lot of people loved it. A lot of my uh, ideal audience that vibes with me, uh, with the underdog vibe, loved it. And then there's a lot of people that just weren't the right fit in my audience that were on my Facebook list that hated it um, and that got to talking shit in there and it, and it ended up causing a shitstorm. But it built a stronger relationship, a stronger bond with my ideal audience. And that was the goal here. Now, here's uh, here's one that you can it, – it's kind of, it's it leaves it open for, you know, like a lot of people don't make money in business because they're pussies. So people could take that and put that out of context like you're, you're saying that I'm a pussy because I don't make money or whatever, you know, and this caused a shit storm and a lot of people, um, you know, got to talking shit in there and it was perfect because it really built a strong relationship with my ideal audience and it pushed away uh, people that just weren't and that didn't vibe with me anyway. So this is a great way to build your personal brand, to create raving fans and to build a really strong relationship with your ideal audience. All right, was that helpful? Do you find that helpful um, to build your raving fans with your personal brand? Uh, and is it something that you're willing to do? If it's something that you're willing to do, Hit it with a yes in the comments. Tell me what you plan on doing or if you plan on doing it. Uh, if it's something that you just won't do and you think it's just too controversial and you're just like, eh, it's not for me, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if this video sucked, how it can improve or whatnot. Any of your feedback is greatly appreciated as long as it's sincere and honest. Um, and if this video was awesome, give it a thumbs up. If it wasn't, if it sucked, hit it with a thumbs down. All that feedback lets me know how I can get better and make better videos for you in the future. Uh, with that being said, if you want the best tips on how to turbocharge your lead generation and customer acquisition without all the BS, make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell notifications. That way, you don't miss anything. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you for tuning in. Until then, you could check out one of these videos that I'm getting ready to share with you right now. We put them hours in to bring them dollars.
dollars in oh. But it's that underdog empowerment We put them hours in To bring them dollars in My name is Zachary Bell. Yeah,